Greg, why do you keep covering this game? Well, viewer, it's because I actually like it. I like this game. I think that it's an achievement to have so much content for a really dirt cheap price. Coming from a backwater country that really hasn't produced a game like Bangladesh, it's nice to see a tactical game from a different country other than America, you know? But ultimately, there's just not a whole lot of games that are like this out there. And what I mean by that is close quarters, tactical shooters like Ready or Not and Ground Branch. Like those are the only two that really come to mind when I think about that type of game. And I kind of add Zero Hour to that category too. Now I'm not saying that this game is perfect. It certainly isn't. There's a lot of problems that I have with it. It definitely feels clunky. The issues, the problems, the clunkiness, you know, the developers not changing the way that it is. But honestly, it feels like what you just paid for. Like you're only putting down like 10 bucks for a bunch of stuff. That's like going to the 99 cent store and buying a lot of stuff, but it makes you wonder why it's cheap. And it's probably because, you know, the food is about to expire. There's just probably something wrong with it. But you know what? Hey man, I live in an area where food is fucking expensive. So this is like a compromise, y'all you know I man. I don't know where the hell I'm going with this, but the point is I like Zero Hour. And I know that there's not a lot of people that do like it, but it's kind of like it's in the space where there's just not a whole lot of games that are like Zero Hour. And again, you really only have two other options if you're just looking for a game like it. But yeah, just thought I'd talk about it because it feels like I kind of have to like justify why I still come back and play every update, even though people will be like, well, you got games like Ready or Not and Ground Branch. Why do you not play those games? It's like, I do. I do play those games, but I would like to have a variety of the same type of genre, if that makes any sense. But that's really not the reason why I'm making this video. The reason why I'm making this video is because they actually just announced a roadmap. So I thought that I would just go through that because it does make me wonder if any of this stuff is actually going to fix a lot of the game. Okay, let's take a look. The name of this update is called Zero Hour Major Update News Upcoming Features News and More. Zero Hour's next major update consists of a new map, attack dog, co-op, Molotov, gameplay tweaks, and more. This update focuses on content update and quality improvements. I'll believe that when I see that because the previous one said that it was going to do the same thing and it really kind of didn't. But let's take a look. Right here it says for August 2022 they are going to be featuring an attack dog. While the attack dog is very co-op oriented, we believe adding this feature will achieve a more rich and dynamic SWAT breach experience. Attack dogs will be used to detect various explosives to protect their handlers and personnel from danger and other crime scene evidence, along with more plans to be announced soon. That actually sounds like something that Red or Not was going to feature in a like really old update, like on their old website. I think they had something along the lines of, you could like select a dog to like figure out where the freaking bombs are for bomb map during the planning phase and it looks like zero hours trying to do something like that so that's going to be something that comes in for august 2022 seems interesting but uh, i wonder how it's going to work out they actually show a picture of the guard dog here and uh, i don't know if i like the way that it looks it looks kind of weird like i've seen better looking dogs but at the same time the game is kind of like dirt cheap so i kind of don't expect too much but they explain here that attack dogs will be used to detect various explosives to protect handlers, personnel from danger, and other crime scene evidence, along with more plans to be announced soon. On release, it will be available in co-op, and only the host of the session can bring it in. We plan to bring it to PvP once we find a more balanced approach. How's it going to work in PvP? It's going to be interesting to see. Moving on to the next thing here. September 2022. Improving game modes. We will be improving the current game modes to improve the overall experience of each map, and we'll make it more fun and exciting particularly the hostage extraction mode i mean i don't know what's wrong with it but it's interesting that they're focusing on this but moving on to the next thing here this one also looks like it's like the starting of september 2022 through april 2023 all it says is co-op and npc storytelling which leads me to believe that they're going to try to make it so that the co-op maps are going to be a little more linear i assume which honestly i think is actually better because when it comes to like disarming bombs and stuff i really hate it how when i played zero hour and it made me go find the bomb and i had no idea where the hell it was it was like a maze for me to try and find it and the bomb was randomly generated so it was never in the same spot. It would be so much better in a linear state, kind of like how Swap 4 had it. But uh, yeah, I wonder how they're going to do that. But moving on to the next thing here, November 2022, new character models. The current placeholders, SWAT and suspect models will be replaced with better detailed characters while more accurately representing the story, lore and more with an added possibility of general character customization. Ooh, character customization though. Let's hope they actually make it so that you can actually customize a majority of your character, make it better than Red or Not's current 
character customization. That'd be lit. They actually have a bit of info on this. They actually did show this out before this update. I remember seeing it in their Discord right here. The new MS unit character coming soon. Man, it doesn't look too bad. wonder if it still has the Bangladesh flag on the back, though. That'd be kind of cool to see. I'd like to get some patches on the side, too. That'd be kind of cool. Like, custom patches? That'd be nice. But anyways, going back to the new update info. New character models and minor animation changes. The current placeholder, SWAT, and suspect models will be replaced with better detailed characters while more accurately representing the story and lore and more, with added possibility of general character customization. New attacker and character models will be coming in the next update, while the new defender character models will be out by November, as noted in the roadmap. But let's move on to the next thing here. For December 2022, they are going to be doing game audio finalization. While we are satisfied with many of the game's audio, a lot needs to be changed before we say we are finalized. We are taking feedback from you guys to ensure we find a more accurate and immersive audio experience. Hmm. I think the audio in this game is okay. I wouldn't say that it's the best, but it definitely gets the job done at the moment. But then again, I haven't played the game in a bit. Shoot, the last time that I played it, what, what was it? Damn, two months ago. Holy cow. That's like forever on the internet. But anyways, for January 2023, optimize and polish. Total of 15 map content, total of 22 weapons and 13 utilities varieties training ground usable workbench releasing official ost on steam store including various zero hour artwork you have artwork interesting more achievements including co-op wow this game has a grand total of 22 weapons that's actually more freaking weapons than battlefield 2042 battlefield 2042 is like 60 dollars and 15 maps 15 freaking maps compared to 2042's seven that's 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 freaking wow wow Getting a bit off topic here. Moving on. Also in January 2023, mocap will be featured. All existing animations will be replaced using mocap to bring a more accurate and immersive visual to each movement. This includes animations for the SWAT, suspects, and even the hostage and civilians. The current animations are handmade, thus giving them a more cartoon-like look. And we aim to fix that. Cool. Now the question is, are you actually going to bring in people who know how to do tactical stances and all that stuff? Or are you guys just doing that yourself? Uh, I wish they would explain that a little more but that's kind of cool that they're now actually getting mocap man to think that mocap used to be like so expensive that studios wouldn't even do it and it's like now everybody's just doing mocap it's just like a common thing now but anyways january 2023 gameplay overhaul and finalization what does that mean no idea hopefully the gameplay and the gunplay actually don't feel as clunky as they did before it would be so much better if they you know made it feel better but we shall see what that's gonna be like here's what they mean by a couple of gameplay touch-ups it seems fine-tuning and optimizing various aspects of the game such as gunplay, stamina, for a better feel and quality of gameplay. We are redoing some of the animations temporarily as our mocap is still not here to improve the overall look and feel of the characters. Um, biggest thing that a lot of players dislike about this game is how the stamina works in this game like it feels like this is somebody who has never like ran in his entire life you know like you could definitely run a lot farther than what this game portrays and like he gets tired like way too freaking fast they need to like up the stamina a lot actually talk to an expert about this type of stuff man but anyways going into february of 2023 fixing all existing bugs declaring to fix a list of current major bugs but these things take a long time when the recreate of of some bugs is rare or even unknown hmm it's gonna be interesting to see also in the same month co-op squad ai we are expecting to add the squad ai in the next few months however due to the delay in mocap there's a delay in mocap equipment hmm we are unable to bring it to a more visually appealing state we aim to have it complete by the end of february 2023 well if you don't have it in a visually appealing state i think that you should just wait until you get it in a visually appealing state like don't just put it in there like make sure that the shit works you know what I mean? but moving on from that what we got in june 2023 is ui and ux finalization oh uh, I mean, honestly, I think the UI in Zero Hour was actually not too bad. I mean, I usually, like, not have a whole lot of UI anyway on the screen, so... Unless we're talking about, like, main menu stuff, but, uh... Yeah. June 2023, VFX lighting. Whatever that means. No description. I think the lighting and VFX in Zero Hour has actually been on point for the most part. Like, I always feel like the atmosphere is actually pretty good in that game, but, uh... Yeah. August 2023, total of 20 map content, total of 25 weapons and 15 utilities 
utility varieties. God damn, 20 maps. How much did this game cost again? Oh, I gotta go look. I wonder if they're ever gonna bring up the price. Because I feel like this game is definitely worth more than whatever it's going for. A grand total of $12 compared to Battlefield's like 60, 70 fucking dollars. That's insane to me. Again, I'm not saying that this game is perfect, but god damn, you get so much bang for your buck just playing this game, man. But anyways, reevaluating the balancing of the overall game, finalizing more achievements, including co-op. Okay, moving on to the last thing here. Looks like we got a new map. Kind of looks like a hospital map. I'm not too sure. What is that supposed to be? A oh, well, this might be a police station? It's judging by the cop car? I'm not too sure, but it looks interesting. You know, like I said, Zero Hour definitely has quite a bit of like vertical maps where you see like one, two, three. That's three levels right there. There's probably a basement level that you don't know about, but uh, not sure what this is. Let's read the description underneath. This is apparently only the co-op mission. Only the co-op mission will have the top floor and the underground parking accessible. In PvP, the map will be slightly smaller, which is probably for the best because, I mean, I've complained about this too where they should definitely change the way that the maps work for co-op and multiplayer because the multiplayer just has too much, in my opinion. You're only fighting in like specific parts of the map, so you could definitely block off just a little more. You don't need to go all the way to the top when all the freaking bombs are like at the bottom or something, if that makes any sense. But glad that they're actually doing something like this. But anyways... MS unit just received a call of a raid at the Danshari police station. Since the terrorist leader Ahmad al Zuri is held captive inside this station, we assume the terrorist motive is to break him out. MS unit are tasked to stop Ahmed al Zuri from escaping and eliminate all suspects. A timer will indicate when all prison doors open, leading to Ahmad Zuri running around the exit. However, MS unit is ordered to capture him alive, so making him surrender is the only option to complete the mission successfully and then here they talk about the release of the ost which how much is that going for uh it's planned to release in about 10 days do they have a price on this I don't see a price on that, but I imagine it's, a, it's probably going to be more than the game, if I'm being honest. In conclusion, we apologize for the delay and lack of updates in the last few weeks. We hope to bring out quality content with our upcoming updates sometime late August. Really? We're dropping something this month, huh? Interesting. Well, that pretty much does it for this update. What did you guys think? Do you still even play Zero Hour? Let me know what you think down in the comments below, because I'm going to get the hell out of here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like Zero Hour, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my patreon or hop on that join button or leave a thank you in the comments if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on zero hour or any other game that i decide to cover and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye